So in this video, we will see how to create an SDC file. So basically, creating an SDC file is where uh, we are giving constraints. So in the programs like your uh, flip-flops and latches, uh, we never used to give constraints and directly when we generated the reports, we got, uh, we used to type report timing unconstrained because it was an unconstrained. Now let us uh, give the constraints for the required file and let's see how it can be generated. So the steps for the simulation are same. So we need to open, right click and open terminal, then change the directory. Then inside your directory, you need to uh, type the uh, main module as well as the test bench. I'll type the command vi space alu dot v. A new window will open where I'll type the alu program. And uh, now I have typed the module for alu, main module. So next escape shift colon wq exclamatory mark it will save and come out of the program similarly let me uh, type the test bench as well and now i have typed the test bench save this and come out of the main module so in the similar way let let me do the ncv log nc lab and so on i'll do the ncv log for alu dot v space hyphen mess you need to get zero errors and zero warnings like this Similarly, I'll do it for the test bench as well, where you'll get zero errors and zero warnings. Next up is NCE lab, followed by the work lib name, whatever you have, ALU underscore test space hyphen mess. Right? So after NCE lab, you need to do NC sim, followed by the module name of the test bench. So here you won't be giving any mess or something. So you will get the non-GUI outputs, which you will note it down. Next, I'll do NC launch. These steps you are already familiar. So I'll right click on worklib, delete contents. Then I will select my particular file, which is in my directory. And now I'll do the uh, compilation for both main module and the test bench. So it will sit in the work lib. Then I'll select only the test bench elaboration. And after the elaboration, I have to do the simulation which sits under the snapshots. So this window, I'll close it. So under the uh, simulator window, I'll select the file. I'll go to the waveform window and I'll click on the run button. So this is your waveform for your ALU. I can expand this. So you can expand each and every uh, drop down menu here and you can observe the waveform. right? So this is your uh, waveform. So once you are done with uh, your waveform, if you want you can observe the uh, sch uh, schematic here. right? And after this, let me close all the windows before I do the synthesis. Except your terminal window, you need to close rest of the windows so once you close all the windows in your nc launch before uh, going to the genus window you need to type the constraint file so this is where you are setting the constraints so you need to type in g edit g e d i t space a l u underscore top dot sdc so dot sdc is the extension which you give for your SDC file, right? A new window will open. This is where I'm supposed to type the SDC file. So we are setting the constraints here, telling that uh, maximum delay should be this much for port A, maximum delay, uh, delay must be this much for port B, and ALU output must be 0.2. So these are the constraints which we are setting. And once you type this, save this, and you can close it, right? So you'll be done with your creation of the SDC file. So I have give, uh, given the name as alu underscore top dot SDC, right? Under gedit. Now let us go to the synthesis part where you need to type genus space hyphen GUI and wait for the genus window to open. So let us minimize this window. 
and let us follow the steps which we do for the synthesis. The initial steps are usually the same. First is read underscore lib space slash home slash installs slash cad slash slow dot lib. So this is the path to access your slow dot lib. So once this is done, you need to access the file. That is a main module. The command is read underscore hdl space. The file name which I gave is alu.v. Next is elaborate. So type elaborate. And as you know, so let us uh, open the window which we have minimized earlier. And next to the layout, I'll click on this plus mark and I will click on the schematic. So a design will, will be generated by the system depending on the code which we have written. And on the side, if you observe, this particular ALU has 17,389 leaf cells. So, so many leaf cells are there, so which will take a lot of time to execute. So, earlier programs, whichever you had executed, had lesser number of leaf cells. And optimized design, later we will see what will be the optimized leaf cells once we are done with the optimization. So, now I'll minimize this window and let me just continue with the further steps. After this, you need to access your SDC file. The command is read underscore sdc space the sdc file name whatever i gave i gave it as alu underscore top dot sdc so this will read the sdc file and after this you can proceed only when your failed numbers should be zero so it will show successfully is uh, ports are three input delay is two and output delay is one failed should be zero so only when failed is zero you can go to the next step if at all if you get any numbers on the failed you need to open your sdc file you need to uh, check the error save it and then you have to come back here this, that is the procedure now let us uh, go further the command is set underscore db space sin underscore generic underscore effort space medium right so the effort uh, medium effort high and effort low are the things which are available so we are setting the db for generic so uh, uh, and give this command and click on enter and you need to wait for a longer time uh, uh, so, so, you, uh, uh, so you need to set the path for this so one is set the uh, set db for generic second one is for map click on enter and third one is for optimization so instead of map I'll give it as OPT and click on enter so you are just setting the paths for this next step is sin underscore generic and click on enter here you need to wait for a longer time for the execution as ALU has uh, 17,000 and odd number of leaf cells it will take a lot of time and wait until you get it so this has taken a lot of time for execution, usually around uh, three to four minutes. So I have just uh, skipped this execution runtime in this video. The next command which I'm supposed to give is sin underscore map and click on enter. And even this will take a lot of time and wait until this execution is over. So even this execution also has taken uh, more than uh, three to four minutes so i have just skipped that runtime so after this uh, sin generic and sin map you have to type sin underscore opt and click on enter until you get the execution done so then you open the window which you have minimized and this is the optimized design that you get so just observe Earlier you had uh, 17,000 and odd leaf cells which has been reduced to 4,737 leaf cells. So this is the optimized design generated by the system. So under these three things, uh, the execution time, it will it will be more. So you need to wait for a while. And once the execution is done, or done you need to uh, get the uh, power report, gate report, timing report and area report. The command for which I'll give is report underscore power for the generation of power report so you need to note down this much right 
so it will show the power report for this particular circuit next we have to type report underscore gates for the gates report so this is quite lengthy so many gates will be generated and this is the total gate report which you get port underscore timing space hyphen unconstrained so even here you are giving unconstrained because uh, it is an un unconstrained report we are not set constraints for the timing and click on enter so this is quite a lengthy one that you get these are the unconstrained uh, timing reports from the beginning so you can note down the starting four lines and ending one or two lines of the unconstrained timing report and lastly after timing you are supposed to find out area so the command is report underscore area and then you can note down the area report so this is what you are supposed to do for the synthesis of creating an SDC file. There is one more command which is uh, an extra thing, uh, which means it shows the consolidated uh, area, time, uh, timing report and gates. So the command for that is report underscore QOR space hyphen levels underscore off underscore logic space hyphen par space hyphen exclude underscore constant underscore nets so this command will generate an optimized area timing power and gates report